this world is amazing. This world is a Minecraft MMORPG. This world is the land of Windcraft. Hey everybody, I'm Jake, and I'm here to start off my Minecraft series. So I will be doing a ton of different games and stuff, but starting off the first episode, we have Windcraft. Server IP will be in the description if you want to play on this awesome server. Now starting off this episode, we have story time. Yay! So I'm just going to do the parkour while I tell my story. Once upon a time, I I play on the server a lot. So once upon a time, I bought the VIP rank. No, I didn't get all the perks right away, so I posted my issue on the forums. So after a while, I tested again, and I did get the perks. But not in the way I expected. Because for some reason, instead of having VIP, which I donated for, I had VIP plus. So I just got like a free rank. Um, yeah. I was actually really surprised about this because, well, someone paid money so I could get a higher rank than I already had. I was just so surprised about that. Which is why I'm a VIP plus on this server. Well, story time's over! Now play! So, quick connect, um, let's join world... 5. Um, let's see, let's go for my, um, how about we go, um, night. So the night is basic, um, well there's a ton of different classes and as you can tell I have been playing this a ton. So I have a level 14 archer, level 42 warrior, level 24 mage, a level 2 assassin, ignore the phone. Um, level 11 hunter, and then I just starting with this knight. Um, and then I have a level 1 dark wizard. Dark wizard. And then I have a level 8 ninja. So, let's get on with it. So, in Windcraft, there are a ton of different things that you can do. So, um, the warriors and the knight's weapon are a shovel. You get special abilities, so like, you can hit the enemies and get an experience. And you have a chance to get, like, rare drops. Like, chickens have a chance to drop eggs. Um, I wouldn't s Oh, yeah, and everything can drop emeralds, which are the currency in this. And then, warriors and knights... If... Um, there's a ton of combinations in this game. So, warriors and knights, get this combination. Um, right, left, right. And you can... Knights use holy blast, and then, um... I forget what warriors get. If you guys want to know all the details, just go on to their website. That will also be in the description. There's all the classes, donator, everything that you'll need for this. Well, anyway, let's get started. Finally, you woke up. I was starting... You know, I'm going to turn, like, music and sound on for this. There. As you can tell, there is actually a really nice uh, juke... Uh, no block music song. Finally, you woke up. I was starting to get worried. Our caravan lost its wheel a few hours ago. We will have to walk to the rest of the rest of the road by foot. The other passengers went ahead. You should join them. The king is waiting for you. But before you leave, take these emeralds and get yourself some armor. It is not always safe around here. Remember to use your spell if you are in danger. We never know what could happen. New quest started, King's Recruit. And so if you head over to the armor NPC, you can then trade your emeralds. Blah. You can then train your emeralds for armor and stuff. Eventually you'll be able to trade for weapons and then trade like any extra stuff for emeralds. That won't be for a while though. Oh yeah, um, be right back. I just need to go get a second page pulled up for something. Okay, so I'm back. I actually just had to pull up another page so I could pull up the Windcraft map. So that will also be in the description. It's just windcraft.com slash map. But, this is why I wanted it. It's super helpful. It shows you the entire map if you wanted it. 
it, it's just insanely helpful you don't even know and this is such a large map it is just so much fun just playing because like you'll never run out of stuff to do and it's so like it is just so much fun I know I've said that before but okay so actually I think I'll start explaining stuff now so um it'll tell you how much defense you have and your level what level you need to wear and use stuff so the oakwood spear is unsellable and then level min is minimum is one its damage is two to five attack i have six emeralds which are each worth each worth one emerald you have your soul points um so every minecraft day you get a new soy point soul point with the max of ten if you die you lose two soup soul points and then um if you lose all your soul points, you automatically lose all of your items if you die again. You can go back and pick them up, but it'll be really dangerous. So this compass is your character info. You can um, get upgrades. You can use your menu from perks like attack effects and everything. Um, let's get the spark effect. Um, you got the gold coin store. You got the jukebox menu. Um, Stormy Seeds, what's this? nice and then we got your quest book um, it'll show you what quest you have active um, what possible quest you can accept and then how many quests you have finished there's a ton of quests that you can do in this well what do you say we get moving to the music of stormy seas Dun. I actually this game is just so awesome just to play I know I've said that before, but you don't know it until you try it. So why don't you guys get on right now and play this game? We might see each other on. We got Quest NPC right here. Don't stay here. The place is infested with the undead. Keep going. The king is waiting for you. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, hey, glass cannon. Hi. Yeah, more zombies to kill. Rawr! Okay, and let's head in. This is this is Rogni, and here is the king of Rogni. Now, Rogni is a level one area. Um, I'll be right back. There are always these pause when we reach a new area because I'll tell you everything you need to know about the area. Okay, so Rogni is a level one area. It has an armor merchant, a weapons merchant, a scroll merchant, and a Potion merchant. Armor. I've already explained it. Weapons. I have already explained it. Scrolls. I'll let King Rogni explain that one. And then potions. Po you can buy different types of potions to regenerate mana, which is your hunger, or even health. They are really helpful, and I would highly recommend getting them when you can. Now, Rogni has a total of four quests inside of it. And, well, we've already pretty much completed one. Once we talk to Rogni, we will complete that one that is on the bottom left in the mountains. A book is a quest in this. Well, let's get back to the game, shall we? Okay, we're back, so let's go talk to the king. Oh yeah, I leveled up one before I got here, so now I have two skill points that I can use to, well, increase any of the stats. The strength skill, plus one more damage, one percent damage per point, um, dexterity, plus 1% chance of doubling damage per point. Intelligence, um, plus 1% additional hunger capacity per point. Defense, plus 1% less damage received per point. Agility, plus 1% chance of dodging all damage per point. I think I'll get my strength and my defense up. I now have zero skill points. And then over here, it'll tell you what rank, what class, and everything else you'll need to know. Armor info, and then your weapon info. So, everyone, thank you for watching this starting episode of Windcraft, my new Minecraft series. Well, well, in the next episode, what do you say? We talk to King Rogni and finish off our very first quest. See you all then.